Lies of P is a Souls-like game set in the Pinocchio world, and lots of people like to play these games fast. Lots of agility, rolling, high stamina, and lots of movement. So today I want to talk about the best dexterity weapons in Lies of P. So in this game, dexterity, as we know it in most games, is called technique. So if you think of a rogue in Dungeons and Dragons, where your aim is to be fast and nimble and get in and out of combat and not really get hit, that's how technique weapons scale in Lies of P. And there's some amazing weapons from little ninjury daggers to super fancy samurai swords. So let's go over some of the best technique weapons for both their weapon scaling and damage and their abilities. So number one, it would be impossible to make this without talking about this because it's just one of the most talked about weapons and that is the two dragon sword. This is the main reason I switched over from strength to dexterity as part of my first playthrough. It has incredible damage, it is super fast, has a really good move set and it, it's hands down one of the best and coolest weapons in the game and definitely one of the best dex weapons in the game. The weapon is obtainable as one of the boss weapons from the, the green monster in the swamp. If you've not unlocked boss weapons yet you can find a guy called Alidoro during the cathedral part of the game and he'll trade you boss souls for weapons. So why is this weapon so good? Because it ticks every single box you want on a dex weapon. It has A scaling I think on technique, so it puts out huge scale damage. Its single target attacks are super fast, you can get in one or sometimes two attacks in between every normal enemy or boss attack. Its charge attack can jump you back out of the fight and then jump you back in so you can dodge certain abilities as part of your charge. And its fable art does a big blast AoE attack. So. Yeah, if you've played Elden Ring, this weapon gives big like rivers of blood vibes. It's powerful, fast, and it's just it's just one of the best X weapons. It's really up there. On to number two. This weapon can be easily overlooked, and it's the Puppet Ripper. This long, cool, scythe looking weapon is already pretty edgy, but its moveset will shock you if you've never seen it, because you can detach the head and swing it around, giving you the one of the most I think it's one of the biggest ranges of any weapon in the game. Maybe on par with the Bone Saw, but this is definitely one of the biggest ranges in the game. The Scythe is also a boss weapon obtained from the King of Puppets boss. Again, you just trade the boss soul to Alidoro. The beauty of this weapon is the range can be used to cheese so many annoying enemies. If you're looking for a secondary weapon that can literally break some of the bosses, this is the one. The charge attack lets you unattach the Scythe head and swing it around, even staggering enemies. And then the Fable is basically the same as the charge attack, but longer and for more damage. A lot of the enemies in this game have short weapons or claws or animals, and with the Puppet Ripper, they won't get anywhere near you. Maybe this doesn't have the best dex damage in the game, but it has the most range, scales well with technique, and just completely makes some enemies unable to get to you. But yeah, if you're if you're looking for something fast and really different, this is this is definitely worth a try. On to number three we've got one of the coolest weapons in the game. When we talk about the best dex weapons, we have to include this. It's the Proof of Humanity. Now, this is from the very last boss in the game, and it's a secret boss. I won't ruin the boss because, or how you get to it or, or anything like that, because it's a huge spoiler. But once you beat this boss, you'll get his boss soul. And then when you start a new game plus, you can redeem this at Alidoro. So it's, it's not something you'll get on your first playthrough, but I, I can't not include it on one of the best in the game because it is one of the best and it's it's so cool if you fought the final you know the secret boss i'm talking about you'll understand why this is so important and why it's so cool to get it so yeah this is this is a really good one it's like a long pointy sword but it's heavy attack pulls the sword into two fast swords so like you kind of hold it and rip them apart and then you have two like fast long swords on top of this, the charged fable also gives you increased crit, making these almost like super long daggers for crazy damage. Its fable ability gives you like these really cool two sword combo that as well that just looks awesome. It's, it's hard to explain in words how this weapon feels, but when you charge a heavy attack and hit enemies with this, you can feel the impact. It's easily one of my favorite weapons in the game and it, it fits a dex build so well. As soon as I got this on New Game Plus, I went and got it to, to max level and I, I just use it on everything because it just feels so good. I don't think it's I don't think it's up there as the best boss weapon, like the best on bosses, because it is a little slower than say the, the dragon sword or some of the daggers, but it, on, on just like open world enemies, you can just go from start to finish, like one boss to the next and just cleave through everything with this. And it is so fun doing it. Okay, number four, a little bit surprising. This ain't flashy. This ain't a boss weapon. It's not awesome and cool and fancy. This is just a very basic dagger, but man, is this one of the most aggressive weapons in the game. The fable for this dagger, the, uh, the tyrant's dagger, gives you increased crit, and it is one of the fastest weapons in the game, if not the fastest. So it's just the pure dex fantasy, right? A fast dagger with crit. 
Unlike all the boss weapons, this is purchased at Hotel Krat from Pulsinella. After giving any of the Krat supply boxes, they're, they're, they're like boxes hidden around the world. You find them and hand them in and it extends the items sold. And that's it. Once you've done that, you extend the, the, the supply of the store and then you can buy this from Pulsinella. I've tried mixing this dagger with different handles, but I find the one it comes with is the one that works best. It's got good decks. You don't really need the range and it just seems to work really, really well. If you found one that works better, let me know. But I think just as it comes, no weapon assembly, just the normal dagger is really good. It's hard to convince you to use like a basic weapon over all these other things. So I just like show some of the gameplay for how fast this is and how much impact these crits feel. Because every time you see that big flash, that's a crit. You can stagger, stun, knock back some of the biggest enemies in the game and pummel them with crits while doing it. You're also racking up huge damage while they're like backing off. For this weapon, I just suggest put a ton of points into stamina because you just won't want to stop pressing the, the, the quick attack. <laughs> it's just that good. And you just go crazy. Get the amulet for stamina recovery as well and just go wild with this. You'll carve through every single enemy in the game. Honestly, normal enemies, bosses, mini bosses. I'm using this on New Game Plus and enemies just feel so easy. Plus with it being a non-boss weapon, you can easily upgrade it to max level with the stuff you find in the open world. And now lastly, uh, this is not as powerful as the other ones I've already mentioned, but I find this in certain situations, this definitely, it definitely pulls ahead in certain situations. And it's a combination weapon. It's one you need to use the weapon assembly for, and it's the Salamander Fire Dagger Head combined with the Booster Blade Handle. The Salamander Dagger is found in a chest in the open world. Just head out from the Workshop Union entrance and drop down the hole and it's there. And then the Booster Glaive is also found in the Workshop area behind the Puppet of the Future. You know, like down in the, the Swampy Poison thing. The big Puppet of the Future is behind that. Just head to the back of the area and then combine them both using Weapon Assembly. This isn't as fancy or as powerful or as fast as the other Dex weapons. I'm not really selling it, am I? But it has consistent fire damage and the fable will set the dagger back on fire so you can constantly deal fire damage to enemies without investing any points into advance but if you do put points into advance this gets better and better and better you will wreck a lot of creatures with this and the the, the fire damage over time will give you more time to like back off heal deal with multiple enemies at once on top of this it's charged heavy attack will zoom you back into a fight so you can set something on fire back off heal up move around and then get back in really fast Plus, it's really easy to get the weapons and upgrade them. I don't think this is useful for, for, for every situation. I probably wouldn't use it for like some of the bosses, like the really fast ones. But if you're on uh, the non-puppet enemies or enemies weak to fire, having a constant source of fire, you know, just being able to set this on fire again and again and again throughout the fight is really helpful. But yeah, that, that, that's it. These are my top five decks or technique weapons in Lies of P. There are lots of other cool weapons out there. There's the chainsaw, the big umbrella eye thing. There's an umbrella with a really cool move set that backs you out of the fight and pops over the umbrella. That's a boss weapon. Some fancy swords like the dancer sword. And they're all good and probably good enough to beat the game with, to be honest. But these are my five favorites and the ones I've had the most fun and success with, even on New Game Plus. I'd love to hear your comments of what, you, what your favorite dex weapon is, or if you've tried any of these and found them useful. And again, if you can find a better handle for the Tyrant Dagger, let me know because with a few changes, I think that could be the best weapon in the game. But yeah, I'm struggling to switch out for the Dragon Sword right now because that is just slapping everything. But that's it from me. Take care, everyone. I hope you enjoyed the video. Subscribe for more and I'll catch you in the next one.